Hello everyone, this is Enzo Hagen of the Alliance for Loki, and this is War Number 4, Season 21 against the Matrix family. Uh, we played them last season, they're a really good alliance, often near the top of the Master's Bracket, and sort of, I think, one of the 7, 8, 9, 10 alliances who can, uh, who can sort of um, um, push for top 3, so this is a really competitive war. And yeah, it'd be great to have a victory against them because um, we were one and two at the beginning of this war. So we have not had a great season and we're in the platinum platinum bracket right now. So here's my team. It's a really interesting team. I have Captain America Infinity War, Vision and Arcus Vision. The whole point of Arcus Vision is just as a synergy with Vision. And the synergy is that every time I throw a special, I get a Fury buff. So pretty interesting. I've never really used it before. So I was curious to see what that'd be like. My first fight is against Blade. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward fight. He has Aggression Fury and he also has um, Strike Back. And so Vision is really nice for this fight. One, because you know you can just play really fast since you don't really have to worry about his um, his power gain since you are uh, draining so many power, so much power with all your specials. You can th see when I threw that special, the Strike Back didn't matter at all. When I throw my special one, the strike back basically offsets. It, it took a little bit of power away from him, but not that much. And so it sort of is a, a neutral, neutral special. And you can also see if you notice every time I throw a special, I get this fury and that's the uh, Arcus synergy. So, I mean, look how quickly he goes down, get the heal block too, which is great. It means he can't regen. And that fight is very straightforward and an easy victory for vision. Vision, I just can't say enough how much I love playing him in war. He's such a great war champion. Um, just perfect for so many different fights. And his power drain is really powerful. So now I'm off to section two. This is now on path three. And I have two fights here. So the first fight is going against a, um, a Colossus. And so it's sort of an interesting node. Since I've also been assigned a mini, I decide to put on... Um, the really long boost. So I have a couple of the six hour boosts available. And so I go ahead and use those. I'm gonna do these fights and then usually we clear. So I've woken up, but it's, you know, late at night for, for the Eastern side of the US and, you know, relatively late for the Pacific side. And so, so we usually clear our map then. So my plan is to do this fight and then have enough time to not have to reboost because of the six hours. And so, so yeah, so I go ahead and uh, decide not even to heal Vision since he has so much health already. So this fight is interesting. So he has this ability where he will use armor buffs to take um, zero damage if you crit. So you can see right there I crit and it does zero damage and it takes away one of his armor buffs and it went from three to two. So it's sort of a very interesting like node. In the end, it really doesn't make that big a difference. I mean, maybe against someone like Corvus, who's critting a lot, but even then, I don't think he'd have that much, that many armors that it wouldn't make that much difference for too long. And so, so this fight tends to be, again, really straightforward. I do get hit once there, but luckily it's only a two hit combo. Um, the other thing I forgot in this fight, which was a bit of a mistake, was I left Suicides on. I mean, Suicides with Vision is sort of a, um, a double-edged sword because you do a lot of extra damage, which of course is great, but you use so many specials that, you know, you lose 5% of your health each time. So almost all of my health loss in this fight was just from recoil. Luckily, this was the only fight I had left with Vision, so I don't have to worry about healing him because it would have been expensive potion-wise to get his, uh, his health back up. Now this time I remember to change my my um, my uh, masteries, and now I'm going with Captain America: Infinity War against the Symbiote Supreme. Um, nothing too special about this node. It does have that explosive personality, so I don't want to hit to his block. The thing that makes Captain America: Infinity War incredible for this fight is that the synergy with any tech champion means that he puts on those um, those petrified charges, and since Symbiote Supreme gains power, the petrifier really slows that down. And so it's amazing. That's amazing synergy. And you can see he's hardly gaining any power at three petrifies. And so absolutely fantastic. And so, yeah, again, this fight is really straightforward, really simple. It's going to be really a challenging decision because I'm almost at my next um, tier five class callus and it's science. And I do have Captain America awakened once at SIG 20. I can raise him to SIG 40. And it sort of is a good question whether the six star would be better for war 
or would the um would this five star sig 200 be better of course the six star hits harder and of course has more health but it only has a percentage chance since i can't remember at 640 it's maybe like 60 percent chance of putting on the um the synergy effect and so yeah that's sort of a tough thing to think about Okay, here's the fights everyone's been waiting for, especially me. <laughs> so this is my first mini action, this this um, this war, and it's against um, and it's against a Magneto. So the big thing about him is he has limber and brute force. Um, the other note about the auto evade and auto block, I mean, doesn't really help Magneto at all since he doesn't either. So going with Captain America Infinity War, and Tater said, you know, make sure you get a kinetic charge because, of course, you want to bait out the heavies because you don't want to use your stuns because they will disappear pretty soon. And, of course, if you have the kinetic charge, you don't have to worry about the, um, about the um, unstoppable buff that Magneto gets, which can make his heavy basically impossible to counterattack. And so it's a really interesting fight. Um, you know, there's a lot going on in this fight, of course, as always. And he also said to use um, just my SP3 because, of course, Magneto's signature ability um, deflects the SP3. So there I get caught in a really long time without being able to, to hit him, which was problematic because that brute force does an incredible amount of damage. So here I throw my first special three. It's 88 to 55, and so he has a big advantage in health right now, and so it's, it's, it's pretty scary. So I did use a power start one. I did put on the biggest science boost, boost I could just to get back as much uh, power as I could and to do as much damage as I could with the SP3. So luckily he throws his SP1 relatively quick, but again, the brute force is on me and, and oof, just crazy amounts of damage. So, so I'm pretty worried about this fight right now. The other thing that Taters told me to do, which I did not do the first time, was to just throw my, my heavy right before my SP3 um, because you get this passive um, passive fury. And so so once again, there's the uh, degen. It's not looking very good, to be honest. <laughs> he is getting a lot of power. And so at this point, I decided, okay, I don't, I don't mind pushing to his SP2. I just need to, uh, need to do some damage. So I throw the heavy real quick, get the fury passive, throw my sp3 and do what damage i can now it's back to it now he has an sp2 i probably should have blocked it but the instinct took over and i uh and i dexed it and i managed to do it and i'm not always great about dexing his sp2 there i just go safe and block it since he's close there's the first of one of my key intercepts in this fight there's the second i just don't have enough time to waste on trying to bait out that heavy i'm just so worried about the dgen that I'm just going for it and so I'm really, really excited. I have my SP3 um, ready. I thought, man, this might kill him. This might do it. And so he's at 25%. He's going to hit Assassin's range and 9%. I'm like, oh, no. And so he has two bars of power. If I just go right into block. Actually, no, I get another key intercept. And then I throw my SP1, just hoping it ends a fight. And it does. And so, wow. I mean, there was a lot of key intercepts at the end. I just couldn't slow play it any longer. And I just had to hurry up and... and intercepts it's like one of these things where i feel okay but i'm definitely not great at them and so but it was it was time and had to happen so i love legacies let's go enzo and um of course i had to uh i had to write him back i was really happy about this fight i felt like i felt like i played it perfectly and sort of did the best i could and managed to just get out the victory and so and to be honest I, this comment is really really a true comment so i watched legacy's video where he had sort of similar fight not on this node but same captain america infinity war against a magneto and he used his exact strategy and that's why it's important to watch war fights that's why i try to watch everyone whether it's legacy or liza or dap or chelize or karate mike or brian just because you always gain so much knowledge from watching war fights so the matrix family did beat us they played amazing i think they had five deaths total um we played all right we had 15 but oh the matrix family absolutely crushed us so well done to them now we're at one in three and almost at the bottom of the platinum one bracket and so yeah we need to do better but uh personally uh, except for the terrible death i had in the very first war i'm having a great time and a great season and really enjoy the fights i had and, and love using these different characters so so hopefully we can go on a little bit of winning streak and at least get into Masters, but it's all in good fun. I mean, that's the thing about 4Loki. I think we play hard and, and try to do our best, but we also like aren't aren't overly worried and, and very like encouraging and ah, just we have fun. So whether we win or lose. 
So that's the end of this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next four video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.